Welcome back to another Sunday prep day where I do my mise en place for the week. So, um, I'm gonna chop all my veggies and I'm gonna make some pulled pork uh, as well. So, let's just start with some onions. I'm gonna do this yellow onion for the pulled pork and for some mac and cheese. So while I chop, we'll go over the menu. So for lunch today, I'm just gonna do some sandwiches. And then for dinner, um, I'm gonna do some roasted vegetables with some sausage. So that's gonna be uh, onion, uh, garlic, potato, sweet potato, parsnip, uh, carrot. And I'll just uh, roast that in my Ninja Foodi and the sausages as well. Then tomorrow, for Meatless Monday, I'm gonna do a salad for lunch. And then for dinner, I'm gonna do some mac and cheese. So. On Tuesday for lunch, I'm gonna do a stir fry with some uh, bean sprouts so instead of noodles or rice. I'm just gonna use bean sprouts. And I'll put some uh, leek in there, some spring onion, garlic, um, peppers, carrot, all that good stuff. So, and then for dinner, I'm gonna do some pulled pork tacos. I'm just gonna cut this red onion for the stir fries, etc. And then on Wednesday, I'm gonna do some sausage with some um, sugar snaps or snow peas, I have both. So I'll just grab one. For dinner, uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take more of that uh, pulled pork and I'm gonna do a rice bowl. I'll make a salsa, probably with some corn. I have some uh, canned corn in the pantry. And I should probably mention for my viewers that don't watch uh, a lot of my videos, um, my lunches tend to be low carb, keto friendly during the week because I am diabetic. And the easiest way for me to cut carbs is to just cut them completely from one meal. So I'm not keto, but uh, my lunches generally are keto friendly, except on the weekend. That's when I have my cheat days. So, because I do like bread still, and it's just uh, very convenient. I have a few of these really small onions that I peeled, some shallots as well. Those are going in the roasted veg later along with uh, half a uh, bulb of garlic, so just in the uh, skin, because this is gonna roast and you don't want the garlic to burn, so you just squeeze this out the husk when it's cooked. And then I have a few cloves of garlic that I'm gonna chop up for the stir fries, for the mac and cheese, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so we're on Thursday. For lunch, I'll do another uh, bean sprout stir fry. I'll probably use chicken for both of those stir fries because that's what I have a lot of in the freezer. And then for dinner, I'll do um, a noodle bowl. So I will um, use more of those um, sugar snaps or snow peas, whichever one I hadn't used yet in the week. And I'll have that with some chicken. And I think I'm gonna make it like a peanut sauce. And that should be very delicious. On Friday for lunch, I don't know yet. It depends on what I have left over. And then Friday for dinner. I'll do some fish and chips. I have some battered fish in the freezer. And I have some potatoes that I'll probably do into like wedges or something. Next, I'll do some leek for the stir fries. Should be plenty. I'll 
I'll save the rest for later. And then I have some of these uh, spring onions. I'm going to use that with my mac and cheese just for some garnish. And I'll throw some in the stir fries as well. And if you cut these, you can actually save the stems and just put them in some water and plant them and they'll regrow. Um, it's winter time here, so I can't really put them outside. I don't have a good place to put them inside, so I'm not going to do that. But uh, that's a good idea for some people that have the space in like a windowsill or something. Next up, we'll do some cilantro because for the pulled pork rice bowl, I'm just going to take the top. I'm going to make some uh, lime cilantro rice. And I might actually do like a corn salsa on top as well, so I can use the, some of the cilantro for that as well. some sweet potato. Those are going to go in the roasted vegetables tonight. I'm just going to leave the skin on. And just cut them into nice chunks. some parsnip, which I'm just quickly going to peel. And those are going to go in the roasted vegetables as well. And then I have some carrots. Some of that is going to go in with the roasted vegetables, so I'm going to cut them quite coarse. And the rest I'm just going to cut into thin slices for the stir fries. Next up I have some ginger. I'm just going to peel that and chop it for the stir fries. some potatoes for the roasted vegetables. I'm not going to peel them. And they're pretty small, so I'm just going to cut them in some chunks. And then I have two chilies for the stir fries, so a green one and a red one, mainly just for color. I like the red and green equally as much, so but it's nice to have different colors. And next up are some peppers, again for the stir fries. And I'll also use those uh, on top of my salad. So I'm just gonna take the seeds out. And for my salad, I want them in like ribbons. And for my stir fry, I want them into smaller pieces, so I'm going to cut them one way first. And then I'll cut across. And I'm just going to do the same with this uh, green pepper. And then lastly, some cucumber for my salad. And just cut that into slices. All right, that's all my vegetables cut. So now I'm just gonna preheat my ninja foodie to make the pulled pork. And I'll put some of this away that I don't need anymore. I'll add some oil to the pot. And here I have some stewing pork. So I'm just gonna throw that in and get some nice color on that. I'll 
add a bit of salt as well. And now that there's some color on the meat, I'm just gonna take that out. And then I can uh, saute the veggies. So we'll add a little bit more oil. Throw in some yellow onion, some garlic, and some salt. And now that the vegetables are softened, I'm putting the meat back in. I'll add some apple cider vinegar. A stock cube chicken or a vegetable stock, both are good. And then I'll add some water. Make sure most of the meat is submerged. And you could totally slow cook this, but since I have my Ninja Foodi that also pressure cooks, I'll just pressure cook that for about 45 minutes until it falls apart. And while that is going, I almost forgot for my mac and cheese. Of course, I need some cheese. So let me just grate some real quick. So I'm just using some cheddar, and I think I'll add some chowda as well, just because I have that. So there we go, some cheese for tomorrow. But yeah, now we are really ready with the mise en place. So I'm just gonna wait for the pressure cook to be done and then I'll check back in with you and finish the video. Okay, the pork is done. I just shredded that. And when I want to use that Tuesday and Wednesday, I just have some uh, barbecue sauce left over that I made last week. So that was it. Now I have my uh, stuff ready for lunches and dinners. I don't really eat breakfast, so I can have everything on the table within a few minutes. So if you like this, I do this every single Sunday and yeah, just do my mise en place for the week. And about once a month, I do what I eat in a day. I'm actually going to shoot that uh, starting today as well, where I show you all the meals I make with everything I prep. So leave a like, leave a comment, maybe subscribe, and thank you for watching. Until next time, bye!